when you're led by the winningest coach in Division I history and a Heisman Trophy candidate. Penn State visited Indiana for their final road game of the season, and the Nittany Lion defense sparkled in their first series. Penn State's nickel with Phillips. Drop by Washington, wraps up a drop for a loss by Derek Cole. Back to the pass, Blitz. Pressure runs right into Tom Cross and holds him down for a loss back at the 15-yard line. A quick three and out, exactly what Joe Paterno wanted from his defense. Despite the cold in Bloomington, Paterno also got exactly what he wanted from his offense. Zach Mills heated things up, converting a third and eight when he found Gerald Smith. And a toss to Paul Jefferson picked up another 14. The well-choreographed opening drive got Penn State on the board first. Mills gives it to Larry Johnson, left side, spins away 15, plows ahead to the 10, keeps the legs turning to the 9-yard line. They pitch it to Larry Johnson, cuts it up to the 10, to the 5, powers inside the 5, to the 3-yard line. Motion by up and away from us, two tight ends. Mills, play action, throws, Lukak wide open, touchdown! Indiana had never beaten Penn State, but every time the two get together, it seems they light up the scoreboard with points. And the Lions' opening drive was an indication it would happen again. With Mike Lukak getting the first of many touchdowns. Penn State's defense had other ideas, forcing another three and out. Back goes Jones. He sets. He had a time. Long and deep far side. Professor knocked away by the left hand of Omar Phillips and incomplete. Penn State moved the ball again as Mills completed his first four passes. This one to Casey Williams had the Lions back knocking on the door. But just when it looked like Penn State was ready to dominate, the Hoosiers came up with a momentum-shifting play. Mills rolls near side, being chased by a Dejanou. He throws, it's batted away, and intercepted. 50, 40, wide open at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Indiana! Put down by Gibran. The kick is blocked. Blocked by Derek Wake. And Penn State maintains the lead. But not for long. Another interception, and the Hoosiers would get back into the red zone again. And while Penn State's defense did a good job keeping Indiana bottled up on the ground, Indiana got the lead anyway through the air. Don't play action. Pressure. Throws in the end zone, and a touchdown for Indiana. The score came with 27 seconds left in the quarter, but Penn State had the lead back by the end of the quarter, needing one play. Larry Johnson, 30, 35, 40, goodbye. 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Larry Johnson as he becomes the first player in the history of Penn State football to go over 2,000 all-purpose yards in a season. If you want a guy on your football team to change the momentum of the game on the road, well, Larry Johnson did again. Johnson came into the game leading the country in all-purpose yardage. He was third in rushing. He had 100 yards by the end of the first quarter. Indiana, as a team, would not get that all day. Perhaps most important, after two quick Hoosier touchdowns, he gave Penn State back the lead. But in typical Big Ten fashion, Indiana proved they could take a punch and get back up. First and ten at the Penn State 24. It's Taylor right side. 20, 15, cut down by Harrell inside the 15. Play action, Jones. Rolls near side. Being chased by Bronson. Throws at the goal line. Touchdown, Indiana. But LJ and his Lions are a pretty resilient bunch themselves. Ranked 16th in the country, and they have more than one weapon on offense. Play action, Mills. The time. He pumps. He throws long and deep near side. Brian Johnson. He's got it at the Indiana 45. Brian Johnson by air. Larry Johnson by ground with a touchdown on his second straight carry. Mills on the delay to LJ. Breaks the tackle. 40. Swings it near side. 35. 30. To the 20. 10. 5. Touchdown, Larry Johnson. And Penn State takes the lead. 20 to 18. With an Indy Lion offensive line giving Johnson big holes, he was unstoppable once he got into the open field. The numbers were abnormal. 112 yards on his last two touches. Jones, 6 of 12, 43 yards. They give it. Fake it. He throws downfield. Bat it in the air. Intercepted by Derek Wake at the 49-yard line of Penn State. There's the turnover the Nittany Lions defense was looking for. Wide receiver each way from the eye. Fake throws over the middle of Brian Johnson on the slant. First down inside the 40 to the 38 of Indiana. 
And another Penn State record was about to fall. The way to LJ, right side, 40, 35, 30, 25. Lionel Mitchell's record to the 20, inside the 15, to the 13-yard line. Larry Johnson sets a new single-season standard for rushing for the Nittany Lions, surpassing Lionel Mitchell's record of 1,567 yards back in 1971. Bryant in the slot. Good snap by Iorio. Back goes Mills with time in the end zone. Casey Williams, touchdown Penn State. Three straight possessions produced touchdowns and only eight total plays barely covering three minutes. And it wasn't just the offense working hard and chasing records. Third down nine. Back goes Jones. Here comes Haynes and throws him down with Crossing back at the 38-yard line. Michael Haynes leads the Big Ten in sacks and is now just two away from breaking Larry Kubin's single-season Penn State record. The Nittany Lion defense was smothering as well as bruising. Go back to pass. Look. Bad and down by Anthony Adams. It's fourth down. The Penn State defense comes up with a big stand. The Penn State defense came up with a big half, allowing Indiana just 89 total yards. The Lions made some mistakes, but they overcame them, and you kind of had the feeling the show was just getting started. Penn State had already set an NCAA record for attendance for the season, but Indiana provided only a sparse crowd. Still, the game was nationally televised, and the Lions went about their business. They took the second-half kickoff and got the ball back into the hands of Larry Johnson, who picked up right where he left off. And Mills to LJ, first down, 45, 50, to his right to the 44 sideline, 30, 20, dragged down from behind at the 17-yard line. He has come out here and just power football breaking tackles penn state's offense can finesse and razzle dazzle with the best of them but they can also play the power game and they were manhandling the hoosiers seven straight running plays to start the second half and they were back in the end zone pitch to lj to the near corner great block from jefferson touchdown penn state penn state takes the opening kickoff of the second half and they go 80 yards for the score the fifth time this season the nittany lions have opened the second half with a scoring drive and they did it the way joe paterno would love to do it with his touchdown is run the football at the opening kickoff of the third quarter and take it with the running game all the way downfield penn state has been a great third quarter team all season outscoring their opponents now 104 to 32 using halftime adjustments by the coaching staff to their fullest potential and it would hold true again in Bloomington. Derek Coles forced a fumble, Chris Harrell recovered, and Penn State was about to take a stranglehold on the game early in the third quarter. Mills will keep it and go himself. Good block from Felder to the 15, to the 10. Mills on the first down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Shotgun Mills. Mills gives it to LJ to the 5, and maybe squeezes it to the 4. Gold for the field goal, now a 27-yard attempt. Put down by Chris Ganner, the kick by Ronnie Gold is up, and the kick is gone. But the Hoosiers weren't ready to call it a game just yet. There's always plenty of scoring in a Penn State-Indiana football game, and with the second-best passing offense in the Big Ten, Indiana was back on the move. Penn State's defense made sure it was only small chunks at a time. Don't play action fake. He steps up. In trouble, Jimmy Kennedy throws him down for a loss back at the 34-yard line. Good man-to-man -man coverage downfield by the secondary, and then Kennedy finally comes free and makes the sack. Roving in motion toward us, one step back. Back goes Jones, blitz. He throws complete to Halterman to the 20 to the 19. Indiana would get into the end zone one more time, but it took a drive of over eight minutes to do it, working more in Penn State's favor than the Hoosiers. Jamar Washington took it in from the six early in the fourth quarter. Then Joe Paterno alerted everyone to the possibility of an onside kick. That's exactly what Indiana tried, but Scott Paxson recovered for Penn State, and they needed just five plays to take advantage of the good field position. The snap to Mills. Mills gives it to Larry. 45 to the 40-yard line. Ross play Johnson, 40, Wecker, 35, 30, 25, 20, to the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown Larry Johnson, a 41-yard run as he becomes the first running back in the history of Penn State football to gain 300.
Larry Johns rushing in a game. Larry Johnson finished with a new Penn State record and Memorial Stadium record, 327 yards rushing. With the big lead, there was no let up by the defense as they continued to hustle, harass, and score. Set, throws over the middle, intercepted Richard Gardner, 35, 30, far sideline, 25, 20, 15, 10 to 5. Touchdown, Richard Gardner, his second interception of the season and his second touchdown of the season. And they weren't finished yet. The Hoosiers barely had the ball back when the Nittany Lions took it off of them again. This time with an Anwar Phillips interception that he returned to the Indiana 18-yard line. With the game well in hand, Joe Paterno gave some of his backups a chance to play, and they picked up right where the starters left off. Pitch to Michael Gasparato, right side. Gasparato to the near corner. Touchdown, Penn State. Mike Gasparato's first career touchdown finished the scoring as Penn State won their eighth game of the year and third straight as the bowl picture keeps getting brighter by the week.